Uh, I mean, I didn't stop training. That's for sure. Uh, it was a it was a heavy year for me last year, so I know I stopped a lot. So I knew once the season was over, I I wasn't gonna stop myself. So um, I mean, it showed today with the fitness that's a, that I've been training the whole vacation, right? Did you? Did you do something different than you might normally do? Uh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you, this is the first vacation that I probably never stopped training. So uh, once you get older, once you you start to realize that uh, I mean your body is the most important. You you just you just don't stop. And I mean I can't go without days of of being without football or training because the body is already used to to being in shape. So uh, and plus I had to um, help the knee get stronger. I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I mean, were you happy with, with, with the season you had last year? Or do you always want to get better? you always want to do it? No, personally, obviously, I was disappointed for, for the injury that I suffered. But I mean, I was happy for the team. The team did well. Uh, and uh, we can only get better from there. So uh, we have to bring those positive, that positive energy from last year and bring it to this year. It's a brand new year. We start from zero, uh, especially myself. So I'm happy to be back. Now you, you just said that, that you know you get older and you had an injury. Are you, do you are you going to have to adapt your game to those types of changes and maybe not expand so much energy and you know chasing people down and maybe focus more on you know trying to get in good positions in the box? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I wasn't part of the, the 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 second half of the season that much. So obviously with Vanny's system, uh, he helped us forwards and. And attacking players to 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 have more chances in, in goal in the box, and I mean I just need to be a part of it. So this is a, it's a good step to to start the new year. On a scale of uh, one to ten, like where was the frustration level for you last year? Like? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, as I said, uh, it was disappointing in general. I mean, probably one of the most disappointing years of my career. But I mean. Eh, you learn from from certain things like that. You learn to adapt, and I mean, it's part of the uh, part of my my life. And I mean, I just want to start brand new this year, so uh, I'm not thinking about the past so much right now. Watching uh, Brian White last year, yeah, you got to be happy for your teammate. Uh, on the other hand, you probably felt like you needed to be out there too, so you could, uh, you know, get a, that kind of success. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, as I said last year, I was happy for him. Uh, he was a key. He was a key player for us last year for making the playoffs and, and scoring the goals he did in important games and winning important matches for us. So, I mean, it would be great to play alongside him and and uh, share those goals with him. I think we only saw it twice last year with you and Brian playing together. Yeah. And I don't think we ever saw it with, uh, with Ryan in there as well. Yeah. What do you think you have to do this season to sort of, you know, jump back in, you know, to continue the momentum that this team has from last season? No, I just got to keep my consistency, uh, be positive and be healthy, 100%. Lucas, I don't know if you heard, but there's been some transfer speculation surrounding your name for the off season. Really? I haven't heard nothing. Well, let me tell you about it. Um, Axel was asked yesterday and he said, you know, there's no plans to sell you. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Um, I'm still a Vancouver White Cup. I still have a contract, so I have to respect that. Would you like to maybe try? Uh, a different place or a more opportunity elsewhere? I haven't really accomplished nothing yet here, so I still need to do that before I take my 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 career elsewhere. So here I'm happy. For now? Yes. Is that annoying though, Lucas? I mean, it's not just you. It's, I mean, I read the papers and the soccer more than any other sport. You gossip the gossip's out Is it annoying? Does it, like, do, you, do you really have to work hard to block it all out? I mean, I don't have social media, as you guys know. Uh, I don't read a lot. I have a handful of stuff to do at home, so I'm always occupied. I, I never hear nothing, and I've been in uh, situations way worse than this. And clubs, there were the the fans. Uh, if you have a bad match, you can't go on the streets. So I mean, here, here I'm comfortable, you know. Um, <laughs> do, does Vanny's system? Do you think that it that it uh, it works works better for you than maybe yeah. previous systems that you've been in? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it showed last year, and uh, yeah, I just need to be a part of it. Consistency is a key thing this year. And is it, does it help to have a coach like him who is super positive, and you, you rarely see him done on guys. He's always patting you in the back. And is, does it help 
uh, if you're having a downtime with maybe a little bit of a confidence issue, is it good to have a guy like him, a coach? Yeah, 100%. I mean, uh, last year when I was going through the things I was going through, he, he talked to me a lot, uh, Rico as well, and I had certain conversations with, with other people in the club, so uh, everybody tried to get the best out of me, and uh, and yeah, I mean, it's always great to have uh, him smiling around, it helps the team, everybody has a good relationship with Vanny, and he, he's good for this club, he's good for, for the fans, and, and everybody's happy with him. Yes, of course. Lucas, talking a little bit about the excitement of getting back on the pitch, what was it like today and how was training for you? Oh, it was great, it was great. Uh, no, just happy to be back. It was a long break, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, happy to be back, healthy, no issues whatsoever. And uh, it was great to see new faces on the pitch and everybody on the same page. Third year here, initially you're going to be looking to play at BC Place. What would it mean for you to play one full season here, not only preseason, but have a full season at BC Place? Yeah, that's something I haven't experienced yet since I've been to Vancouver. So uh, hopefully this will be one full year in Vancouver, nothing Salt Lake City. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, the city is, is amazing and you know you have to be grateful. Uh, does Guti still look to you to like sleep over and hang out at, uh, <laughs> on your couch and you know spend some time with the family? Yeah, I mean, I offered him to, to live in the basement if he was, he was trying to find a place, so... <laughs> you take but, up on that offer? Yeah, uh, he's, still, he's, he's still looking for other <laughs> offers, but... Him yeah. and your boys get along really well. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's one of my sons as well. <laughs> How was the vacation for the family, though? No, it was great, it was great. Yeah, yeah. everybody was healthy, so it was a good thing, everything. The whole situation with COVID is, is big now, so uh, I'm happy we didn't get through any problems like that. Well, the, before the season starts, you're going to be called up to play uh, for Canada. Uh, what's your thoughts on the big qualifying window that's coming up for the national team? I know Alfonso is not going to be there, and how important are these big games uh, coming up? Uh, this window is going to be huge for us. Uh, for Canada, I mean, we can have one foot in, in Qatar after this window, or even both. Uh, it all depends on, on our results. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, obstacles with the, the COVID situations but uh, I mean everybody has to be responsible uh, be healthy and uh, the team the team is always getting better and better so uh, yeah uh, the best is yet to come for Canada. I guess it goes without saying though it's going to be a little bit tougher with that offense. I mean uh, yeah but we're not the only team that probably is missing key players because uh, the situation with, with COVID is big now and I mean whoever is responsible and I mean, you could get unlucky, but I mean, we're ready for whatever.